okay hello everyone and welcome to my channel learning tech and hope you all are doing well so today here I am to show you uh, how can we edit our photos online okay with the help of photo P okay here you can see here the icon of photo P and it is online photo editor you know that uh, lets you to edit photos online not only edit photos uh, just to apply effects uh, filters add text and it also helps to crop or resize any pictures okay as you want okay so photo p uh, you know it's an online photo editing um, in your browser in which we can use for free and not only that uh, we can also download uh, photo p, uh, photo p and use offline okay so i'm going to show you uh, for this okay so first of all just go to your browser and type there photo p photo p and hit enter okay so here we are now so this is the screen uh, okay that you will see okay so you know i'm opening this uh, application in my browser okay here you can see the url uh, of uh, photo p so i want to just download this okay or i want to just uh, say uh, use offline okay so how can we do that or install to your computer or laptop you know or any other uh, thing is that and uh, just go to this more button okay here you can see I'm sorry okay more and click on install photo p okay and here you can see just click on install okay so here we are now this is an offline version okay so okay so i'm using this now as offline okay let me close this and here you can see it's uh, nothing in my browser and you also can see uh, the icon of photo p in my desk, uh, desktop here uh, so let me just double click and well now I'm using offline okay okay so uh, just let me show you some of the example too okay okay so I'm using here as online here okay this is my online version and uh, this is my offline okay here you can see the difference between two okay so you can just edit your photos you know okay add filters add text okay i'm going to show you how can we add text uh add to any uh, photos using photo p okay it's just uh similar to photoshop you know it's just an alternative to photoshop if you don't have photoshop and um i guess you guys have checked my videos on how to download or how to get at a photoshop 2021 for free okay so let me just click on file and just click on open okay so let me open this okay, it's loading okay so i want to uh, just add a text here okay okay so how can we do that is just go to this button the text button you can see here uh, type tool click on that and Just click on here or type anything as you want okay okay so let me type here cartoon sorry cartoon okay so here is the text and i can move anywhere i want to place or just resize this uh text here so for that uh if i want to change the color of this text just select the text or just select the text here okay and click on the here the color on the menu file then you can choose the color as you want okay so let me choose the blue color and click on okay okay so here we are now okay it's the color text of the color of the text has been changed into blue color okay so i just can you know change its font large uh, like uh, from here okay this you can see here no sorry just okay 
it's bold I just so just can change the size of the text from here as I want it okay so before doing that just select the text okay and just move the cursor okay or simply you can just uh, click on this button transform uh, controls and from here you can just select or just put the text as you want it okay yeah okay so for now let me do just this much okay so i want to change the uh, color i want to just uh, increase the contrast of the picture okay so for that just click on the picture this is the background okay click on image and adjustment then you can see the different uh, you know options uh, just to edit your picture so i want to just mm, edit uh, increase some contrast here okay so here i can see it's just as similar as photoshop okay okay so you can change anything from here so okay and uh, for example let's say I want to just edit this uh, edit this photo and I want to add a motion blur okay motion blur to this picture okay uh, so how can I do that uh, is just you can first of all you must select the object okay so for that just uh, go to this uh, button then you can uh, choose the magnetic lasso select okay then just start selecting the object here, okay or you can just uh, use a uh, magic wand tool to select because as you can see uh, the background it's all white okay okay i'm just showing you just for the example okay uh, just let me select this okay okay so here we have selected the picture so i want to add the motion blur to this picture okay so uh, let me just select inverse for this uh, okay inverse so then after that just go to filter and blur and you can see the type of blur or the other options that you can add okay just select as you want okay so for this i'm adding your motion blur uh, because i want to add this okay so just uh you can choose the angle here okay okay so it's zero degree means it's uh straightly the blur will be applied in a straight zero degree okay just you can see in the picture or in the preview here okay so if i just kept here 90 degree okay okay here you can see here the effect has been added okay so for that just let me increase the decrease the curves here okay so let me again add the blur motion to zero degree select inverse okay and click on filter blur motion blur okay so here you can see here now okay so it's not that much visible so i want to just uh, edit some more now it is this photo for that just go to image adjustment and okay just let me make some changes in curves here okay so here you can see it now right okay so in this way you can just edit your photos okay with the help of photo p and it's alternative to photoshop okay okay so hope you enjoyed the video and obviously i'll be making some of the more videos regarding photoshop in coming days and if the video was very helpful to you please like the video subscribe my channel for more videos like this till then thank you very much take care and bye bye